California's wealthiest residents think that they should not be subject to the same kind of water restrictions as everyone else. Interesting. So this is reported by Washington, uh, the Washington Post. According to rich people, since they pay higher property taxes, they are therefore, according to them, entitled to more water and poor people, well, they just have to suck it up and suffer. Now, California has been going through a rather nasty drought and Jer Governor Jerry Brown has um, basically put a lot of restrictions on water use in California. But regardless of that, According to the Post, water consumption in a wealthier area of California, Rancho Santa Fe, actually went up. Yes, it went up by 9% after Governor Jerry Brown called for a reduction of 25% in water use by April. Interesting. Now, uh, as of July 1st, Rancho Santa Fe will, of course, be uh, subject to water rationing. But it's kind of strange because... As you may have seen recently the story of where there being uh, some of the wealthier people in that area are being shamed for having green lawns while everyone else's lawns are essentially dying due to a water shortage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that's the part of the article I found interesting. I mean, one of the one of the people was complaining like they want to be able to water their, their putting greens as yeah. much as they want. And, you know, I mean, sometimes it's like, come on, that's you know, absolutely ridiculous. Like some people are worried they don't have enough water to drink and then you're, and you're like, oh, my putting green. Like, I, you know, I, I think it's just, it's very selfish. And, and I think there, there's a quote in that article that mm -hmm. you should, you should, you should point out where the person, I mean, one of those people straight up said, we're not equal. And yeah. that's just, I mean, come on. You know, I, I get it. You're rich. And that's, that is what it is. But I mean, to be so just viciously heartless when it comes to something that we all need mm. to live. Our bodies all need water no matter how much money we have in the bank. You can't drink dollar bills uh, and it'd be very gross even if you have. Right, right. So, yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I think it's very, very sad. And I hope that the state starts enforcing those, those penalties on I these people. You know, I find it amusing now that you said that you can't drink water bill or, or, or you know, um, dollar bills. I just had the thought in my head of somebody like somebody is rich, just pouring a bunch of dollar bills into a blender and mixing it up <laughs> and seeing what would come out of it. Why not? They'll just buy a new blender. Yeah. Nasty green paste or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like what? Yeah, you certainly can drink money. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds awful. But the quote that you were going for uh, comes from Steve Buhas, who's a resident of the Amfluent uh, Rancho Santa Fe area, says, well, we pay significant property taxes based on where we live. And no, we're not equal when it comes to water. So yes, we are. <laughs> because you pay more, you're saying that you're more entitled to something. Hmm. Water. Yeah. And, but, you know, on that same note, do you guys, do you remember the uh, CEO of Nestle coming out and saying, you know, water is not a human right. And they're some of the ones that are still using water, bottling water from California during the drought and selling it. Yeah. No, I mean, it's straight up just, I, I mean, vicious is the yeah, only, absolutely. I mean, when people say these things that you're not in a, and, you know, talking about being disconnected, about, about a Mitt Romney being disconnected, I mean, this is disconnection to a whole new level where you can't even you can't even have uh you know you can't even relate to those when it comes to water you know i mean there are people in this world and, and this goes beyond california there's there are people in this war world that don't have access to clean drinking water that don't have and, and and to say those types of things knowing that there's so many people in this world that, that face those obstacles i mean it's just it's just very short-sighted and small and yeah, I hope that these people get those penalties if they go above uh, the usage. Uh, like, I think that they deserve that. If you're going to be that big of a jerk, quite frankly, you should just have to deal with penalties. But, Ron, don't wealthy people deserve deserve to have green laws that we can look at? <laughs> well, well, according here, here, to you, uh... you know what, Jeff? Let, let's, let's be fair here. If the wealthy people really are that concerned, I, they need to invest in some R&D 
And if they can control the weather so that it can rain whenever California needs rain, they can use as much water as they want. That would be my wet message to all those people. You know, until you can construct your body in a manner that you don't need water like everybody else that's a human, uh, and until you can maybe manipulate the clouds so that it rains in California when they need it, then you can use all the water. Until then, you know, you're a resident of the earth just like everybody else, and uh, you can cooperate just like everybody else. Oh, but Ron, harp. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, to point out how ridiculous some of these people are, there was somebody uh, that they interviewed uh, named Gay Butler, who's an interior designer, right? When she was out there riding on a, on, on a horse, by the way, speaking of Romney and dancing horses, she says, it angers me because people aren't looking at the overall picture. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This, this might actually be reasonable. What are we supposed to do? Just have dirt around our house on four acres? Oh. Uh, it started out reasonable and then it went terribly. Yeah, I, you know, it, it's awesome how we've reached such a point with income inequality in this country that we've just kind of, uh, we've completely personified a Charles Dickens novel. We're just, I mean, like everyone's just a walking Ebenezer. Like, 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 well, perhaps they should die and decrease the surplus population. You're not entitled to water. Ugh, look at my putting green. Are there no workhouses? <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny, um, Brett Barb of Orange County's Yorba City said, I call this the war on suburbia. Is it a war on suburbia, Ron? No, because not everybody in suburbia is filthy rich and is complaining that they don't have enough water for their putting greens. 